Hey, welcome back. Now, it's not Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve Eve. So uh, I thought instead of doing uh, Christmas Day, which I had had the idea of, but I thought that was even too humbug for me. But uh, I needed to get out on the moors because um, I have missed them and haven't been up here for a while. So we came up here last year, about this time, and it was snowing. Well, I don't think uh, I'm gonna be that lucky to get a bit of snow this time, but you never know. So I thought I needed to get out, get up, and get nifty. Get out, get up, get up, get out, you know. So heading up to King's Tall, just parked up in Four Winds car park. I've got about half an hour before the sun goes down, according to the watch. So I better get a crack on and get on up there. It's not far. That's why I chose this one, to be honest. For my pre-Christmas hike on the moor. Wow, it's not much of a hike, more just a wild camp. The other guys couldn't make it, so uh, sod it, I'm doing it on my own. It's not far up that hill, surely. So we'll get up there, get set up, and I'll show you my traditional Christmas uh, cooking. You're gonna love it. It's one of the old favorites. Doesn't involve turkey. So first obstacle, get across the river. A bit of water here. And I'll get across there then. Let's try up here. I don't want to start the evening off with wet feet if I can avoid it. I think this is where we went across last time. Yeah, that's it. Just a few stepping stones and we'll be there. Better put the camera away. Or maybe not. Maybe I can make it. What do you reckon? Whoa! Bloody hell. That's a bit slippy. Wait. Right. Up the hill to King's. The King of Tools. That's why they call it King's Tool. I don't know why they call it King's Tool. <laughs> anyway, it's easy to get to Tool. Seeing is, I have literally got 30 minutes to sunset. I don't want to be putting up the tent in the in the dark if I can avoid it. I brought the land shan today, tonight, and um, not sure if that's wise or not. Really, that's a single skin tent, the land shan one pro. So. I may well be feeling the effects of the cold. And if you uh, hear me whinging later on this evening, you'll know. I could be wrong. I keep feeling the icy flecks. Flecks of uh, ice, that is, against my face. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be snow? You never know. Be snow. Ah, that would make for a jolly pre Christmas camp, wouldn't it? If I woke up covered in snow, and we're tent covered in snow, not me, obviously. I'd be uh, very silly. Right, not far now. Not bad scenery either. Oh, I have missed the moors. I've been up for about five weeks with all sorts of things going on. There's Foggins Quarry over there. It's, uh, it's quite a moody evening. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it's certainly got a moody, wintry Heathcliff feel to it. It's like Boulder City. Boulders everywhere. Who 
Who's puffing and panting? Me? Never. Oh, I've got mince pies in the bag. Mm. Nice mince pie and a coffee at the top. You've got to give yourself a reward for these things. It's not a big climb, to be honest. It's a bit of a cheat, but because I was so late leaving Dorset to get here, I thought, I know this place. It's easy to get to. Come a fair way to be honest. A little, a little walk in there. Easy to get home as well. Well, back to the car. Then into Exeter for Christmas shopping. Lastminute.com. 50 and lastminute.com. 50 and nifty does Christmas presents. Humbug. So here we are, all set up inside. Um, just a top tip, when it's cold, the ground's cold and the ground is bloody cold, just get one of those emergency blankets, a uh, bit of tin foil it is, uh, that you use for emergencies obviously, and fold it in half, stick it underneath. So got the UL80 um, sleep mat, we got the uh, Nature Hike CWZ uh, sleeping bag, down sleeping bag. It's got a, uh, not a silk liner, artificial silk liner. And I have got, just in case, just another little thin, uh, cheap bag to add as an extra layer. Uh, which I may or may not need tonight. I really need to, uh, test out this sleeping bag. See how cold it will go. So, things I do. Um, I want to test it out and I think it's going to get down to about five or six. I've had it out in five, uh, in six, six degrees and it was fine. It was really warm. So we'll see what it gets down to tonight. Um, I'll check that out and see, see if it's any good, this bag. It's, it's the lighter weight one, but the large size, uh, square, uh, Nature Hike CWZ 400, um, hundred odd quid on Amazon. So we'll see. It's not as good as some, and I'm pretty sure it won't uh, take me down to, to freezing, but it's not going to freeze tonight. And certainly with that under blanket, the emergency blanket underneath, that will stop the heat being sucked out um, through the floor. I've got the Lanshan set up quite low tonight, because it's a bit windy, it's a bit cold. So uh, I thought it better, if I keep it low, I won't get so much wind in. So it's actually set up fairly low to the ground now that might be a problem with condensation but to be honest i can live with a bit of condensation i'm not sure i can live with a bit of cold not tonight it looks like it's going to be a cold one so we'll see it's time to crack a beer open and get some traditional english food on the go what do you say fancy some come on then. that's right it's curry a true a traditional English dish. Well, it's Christmas. Got to have a nice curry at Christmas, surely. And uh, we're going to have curry from a tin <laughs> and rice from a packet. You calling me a cheat? I don't blame you. But we have got a couple of San Miguel's to go with it. And to make it more Christmassy, I thought, why not? A couple of mince pies. That will do nicely, and the obligatory sausage and um, sausage and egg for the morning. Yeah, why not? So let's get cooking. I'm starving. It's getting cold. I need the curry. What have we got? Tikka masala. Mm. San Miguel. Nice. I don't think there's much chance of snow, to be honest, but um, probably just as well. It's a fair breeze. Not too bad. Hopefully it won't pick up too bad. Didn't say it was going to. So uh, we'll cook up, have something to eat, have some grub, 
and um, get inside the Lanshan and see if it uh, holds up under the uh, cold conditions. Ooh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling away. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly Egon Rone, is it? It's not Michelin star kind of stuff. Oh, look, a little uh, makeshift uh, windshield come pot stand is uh, falling off there. Can't see what I'm doing. So I've got my little uh, windshield and pot stand there, which, um, you know, doubles up for both. And I put it on the uh, fake jet boil with the uh, long gas canister. You get loads of gas out of that. Uh, just boil it up. I'm going to add a bit of water to that as well. And then I'm going to cook the rice in it as well. And that's what you call one pot cooking on the moor. So whilst that's cooking away, be rude not to have a little drink. Well, it is Christmas. I tell you what, it'd be great if this uh, this film was sponsored by San Miguel, wouldn't it? I could go for that. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not sponsored by anyone. It's sponsored by me. Cheers. Merry early Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. Evie? Evie, Eve. Right. Dinner's cooking. Beer's cold. What more could a man want? Tikka masala. Can't beat it. Mm. That's good. Thank you, Morrison's. You've done me proud. Right, I've moved inside. It's not windy as such. There is wind, but it is cold wind. It is cold. But the curry's hot. I have always in the past taken the Mickey, or the PIWS, out of uh, people who have like Lanjan 2s and two-man tents when they come out uh, solo wild camping or wild camping and um, to be honest they may have a point this Lanjan 1 Pro is okay it's adequate but if you're spending a lot of time in here then I can imagine it's going to get uh, a bit cramped and a bit claustrophobic so uh, good excuse to buy a new tent Maybe I'll go for some fancy two-man tents. If you've got any recommendations, please, please put them in the uh, comment section below because uh, you guys will probably know more than I do. Or well, everyone's got different uh, tastes or different uh, choices. But uh, So any comments, uh, any ideas for a two-man tent, lightweight, got to be lightweight, got to be reasonably priced. I'm not spending a fortune on any more gear uh, apart from the hot tent and the stove I'm going to be buying shortly you know, why not you have to so if you've got a comment for a decent two-man tent uh, lightweight please leave a comment below well, it's half past one quarter to two it's not, it's not windy, but it's, uh, it's flapping. There's a bit of condensation in here, to be honest, because I got my flap so low, flaps down, and um, it's dripping a little bit. So I've opened up a bit of uh, ventilation. Right, I'm gonna get my head back down. See if we get a few more hours kip. Right, cheers. See you in the morning. All right. That wind is coming in. I don't know where that's come from. All of a sudden, I don't know where it came. It's hammering it then, and it's blowing a hooly gale. A hooly gale. It's 
checking for leaks. Oh, I'm not leaking. Right, it's just gone 6 a.m. and that wind and rain <laughs> is howling. It's howling. And the poor old Lansham is rattling around to say the least. It's chilly, it's wet, and it is now officially very bloody windy. Some of these gusts are blowing this tent around like you wouldn't believe. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that. It's not too bad. It's when it gusts, it is blowing this little one man single tent to high heaven. I didn't see this in the weather forecast. Thanks, my office. Oh, they don't do it anymore, do they? Anyway, I think what I'm going to have to do is just stay in here for a bit. I don't know if you can hear that, it's getting worse. It is really now bloody hammering it down. Jesus, wept. I've got a feeling I'm going to get blown away. Luckily I've had a good night's sleep and it's not that far to the car in case I have to bail out of there. Well, if the tent holds up, I'll stay here. If it doesn't, but if it doesn't, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Pack it all into the rucksack. But it is fair on Gaelish now. Do I risk making a coffee and burning the tent down? Ah, be alright. Bloody hell. It is blowing something chronic and peeing down. Let me dartball! Uh, I see why well, the lads didn't come out with me. They must have looked at the weather forecast. I think what I'll do is pack as much of my stuff up as I can, get it in the rucksack, and that way if I do have to bail and get back down to the car, luckily it's not too far, I'll do that. Bloody yeah, wish me luck. That'll do. Bloody hell. I'm trying to film and make coffee and eat mince pies all at the same time. You've got a light shining in your face with the camera. Bloody hell. It's blowy. Put that on there. Flipping it. Don't panic, Captain Mannering. Right, well, at least I've got mince pie and I've got a coffee. That'll get me going for the journey back to the car with this bloody weather. Eases up a bit. I don't fancy going out in it and packing up in this. There will be a stuff and go. Stuff it in the rucksack. Go! Go for it. Well, it's pretty foul up here on King's Tour after that night of heavy winds and rain, to say the least. But I'm quite impressed with the land shan, to be honest. It's held up. I wasn't sure it was going to, but it did. And uh, it's done me proud. God, it's howling. Right, I'm going to pack it up and get myself back down to the uh, car. Luckily it's not too far um, and hopefully I can actually find my way. Look, I have got my Garmin uh, navigation watch so given the fact that it's pretty misty that might be in uh, use in a minute. Right I'm gonna pack up and get on my way. See you in a bit.
Wish me luck. Well, I definitely parked myself on the wrong side of King's Tour because this side is not too bad. Apart from the fact you can't see where the hell you're going. But it's not far. I'm pretty sure it's that way. I won't even set up the uh, navigation on the watch. It's a bit damp. A bit soggy. Should take about 20 minutes to get back to the car. Packing up wasn't fun. It was really windy that side of the rock of the tour and uh, pretty clear this side. That's how different Dartmoor can be for you. Right, down to the brick wall, follow up. Catch you in a minute, <laughs> if I make it through the river. Right, back over the river it is. A little bit more swollen this time. Except this time I'm going over the proper crossing. Oh, is there a proper crossing? I can't see the car park now. The trees around the Four Winds car park. It's always a good tell. But uh, given the mist, <laughs> I can't see it. Anyway, we'll find it. If I don't, have a nice Christmas. pretty bloody wet. It's rolling off the hills. And this looks like a path, or it could be a stream. Uh, should we follow it? Let's follow it. See where it goes. Bloody good job I got my Morales Gore-Tex boots on. Although I'm not convinced they're 100% waterproof. Is anything? This coat is. This cheap coat from uh, Go Outdoors is. It's pretty bloody foul, but beautiful at the same time. Ah, on the moors. Oh, look, there's kind of a pinnacle there. So I'm gonna go and have a look at the pinnacle. It's like a beacon guiding the way for me or leading me up a garden path. There it is. Let's go and say hello. I reckon that must be uh, something of importance. I think it was put there 3,000 years ago to guide me back to the car today. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Then again, maybe not. And out of the mist, having followed my Garmin faithfully, it has led me back through the mist through the rain and back to the car thank god for that i was a little bit worried i was off course you can't really go off course too much when you're going king's tour from four winds because it's such a short distance but you never know the moors can become disorientating you can't see where the sun is. I mean, it looks like the sun's anywhere and everywhere. So you can't rely on that. But uh, it got me back. The trees are four winds. Ideal. A welcome sight. Actually, I want to be around this side. So, I'll say Merry Christmas now. If I manage to upload this before Christmas, maybe it'd be a Christmas Day thing. Uh, it's actually Christmas Eve Eve now. On the way out, it was Christmas Eve Eve Eve. So, I've got a little bit more time to do a bit of shopping. Back into Exeter, get a few presents that nobody wants and face uh, Christmas Day. And uh, hopefully you have a good Christmas too. 
and we all have a good new year. This has gone out after Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, but I hope you do have a good new year and hopefully things will improve. Just remember though, you can always get out here even though it is pissing down and windy and wet and a little bit cold. There's a whole lot of planet to look at and a whole lot of country that we live in in the UK that is open to us. So if we are in another lockdown, God forbid, um, get out, get up, get out and get nifty. So I'll say goodbye now. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. If you uh, get the chance or you're that way inclined, please do uh, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Um, that would help us out. We've just got past the 100 barrier. So I'm well chuffed about that. Um, and hopefully we can carry on making some more videos up on the beautiful moors and hopefully a lot more on the Dorset coastline and the southwest coast path. That's the big plan for the coming period. And I hope you can join us. So thank you once again. Take care. Have a good Christmas. Have a good new year. See you later. Cheers. Take care. Bye.